Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 for race 6 of the AR12 Racing Championship presented by Elgato. There are some scary, scary fast people in here who are going to be trying to qualify for the Elgato finale for a chance to win part of our 5 thousand dollar prize pool there is still time to sign up for this series there is one more race that you guys can join if you want to join you can do so on our discord server there's, there's a link in the description as per usual none of this series will be possible without our awesome friends at elgato check out some of the really cool stuff they make like webcams microphones lights capture cards everything and anything to get streaming the guys at elgato make it so you should definitely check them out there's a link in the description down below for them as as well. Not to brag or anything, but I think this might be my favorite map that I've made so far. There's just something really satisfying about driving this circuit, and I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek. And when I say a little sneak peek, you are not gonna see very much. We're starting out in Guanajuato on the road as we take the twists and turns of the city through the narrow streets and into the underground tunnels. It's a very cool race course, but you're not gonna wanna go too fast or you're gonna run off the road. And that's all I'm gonna show you. This is what we're allowed to drive today. This is the banned car list for this week. Your car must be purchasable from the auto show. Your car must be using Horizon semi-slick tires. That's the one with like the tire letters on the side. The Hurricane and the Corvette, all of the models are banned and your class limit is S1875. I forgot to mention, it must be a modern supercar. You guys got 10 minutes on the clock. Go and jump into your car and rejoin outside the festival. Good luck. Twitch chat, I'm gonna let you guys choose what we drive today. I don't know why, but I'm feeling kind of confident about this one. We've actually got some really, really good options. Like there's an NSX, Audi R8. I love that thing. The Corvette is banned. There's a bunch of really good Ferraris. The Ford GT isn't bad but it's really fast bone stock. I mean, if you're feeling brave, you can always run one of the slower 911s and go upgrade crazy with it. I feel like I'm kind of leaning towards the McLaren cam. I think 570S is gonna be a pretty good call. It's gonna mean we can upgrade it. I love McLarens. Let's give it a go. It might be a little bit of a risk. I would imagine the Ferrari is a safer call. I, I, I like McLaren. Right out of the gate, we obviously need those Horizon semi-slick tires, which are those so we're still gonna have a little bit of slide out of the car, but I really like these tires. Other than that, though, we are probably gonna want a couple of mods. Ooh, a Hurricane V10 engine. Hello. We get a little bit more horsepower and we get a little bit of weight reduction from that engine swap, actually. Let's go for that. How about some all-wheel drive? All-wheel drive is a no-brainer. Brings our PI down like crazy. Exactly. We're not allowed a Lamborghini Hurricane, but we we are allowed the Hurricane engine. I think a front splitter is gonna be useful for going around some of these corners, so let's go for that. Same thing for a rear wing, we'll go for that one. I would love to toss that one on, but we're gonna need to toss the ugly boy on. I think we're gonna make our tires a little bit wider. Let's go for those, that should be good. And then I think weight reduction is gonna be the name of the game. So where can I go? I can get sport, I can get race weight reduction. I think that's a fairly good call. How about some race? suspension actually that doesn't even change my pi we'll go for that anti-roll bars i guess we'll go for that that's only one pi as well how about lightweight rims lightweight rims can never hurt save an extra 14 pounds there i think we need some horsepower okay so 24 horsepower there just for added style points can i get some wheel spacers no no i can't how about the rear I can. Okay, we'll go for those. After all of our upgrades, 2,800 pounds. We're fairly lightweight now, considering we've got a big V10 engine and all-wheel drive and the added on, like, wider tires and stuff like that. That's not bad. And we've got nearly 700 horsepower. We've got some very cool cars out here. I wasn't expecting all of these. That's awesome. All right, apparently Nathan took my insert cool livery thing to heart. I love this, though. We've got a little bit of everything from the anime Ferrari. Please don't sue me, Ferrari. We've got a McLaren, another Ferrari, Nissan GTR, my McLaren. There's another GTR, another McLaren, Audi R8, 
and even a Porsche 911. Yo, this is your first look at the racetrack. It is 10 laps of a two mile circuit. You've got to navigate the streets as fast fast as you can. There are no collisions, so don't worry about crashing into people. I would say you do want to watch out for some of the walls. If you do nick them just a little bit, it will stop your car dead, so just a heads up. Other than that, I wish each and every one of you good luck. We're starting all the way back in P10. Nathan is behind us in P11. You're also going to want to watch out for the braking line. The braking line kind of lies to you, so... Just kind of take it with a grain of salt. And one person is already into the wall. Out of corner one, we hold P10. We drop one, but gain one at the same time. This is insane. Oh, did that guy miss that checkpoint? You've got to keep it on the road. He did. He did. He missed the checkpoint. There is El Gabor. Ash leads the pack away. Halfway through lap number one. Suman is in P2. Nathan is doing a very nice job up in P4. That is looking rather good for him. This is where you want to watch out for these walls. If you crash into them, you will write off your race instantly. Like I said, you want to watch out. This is also where you're going to want to watch out. Do not take that corner too fast because you will smash into the wall. A messy lap one from some people, but will that hurt them? This is a long race. Anything can happen. Well, Suman is zooming up to P1. He goes past Ash. Nathan is in P3 doing some fantastic filming. That is lap number one. In the books, like I said, there are no shenanigans on this racetrack. It is literally a test of who can get around this circuit the quickest. Anyways, I've got a lot of clear air in front of me and behind me. I want to put in some good laps. I want to go. I want to catch up to this guy in P5. We seem to be closing a little bit. I wish the game was giving me split times, but it's not. So I'm just going to need to to push and hope. You've got to keep it safe, though. You don't want to push too much and smash into one of these walls. That would absolutely ruin your race. I just see tire smoke everywhere. We're looking good. I think we might be gaining a little bit. I'm not really sure. My McLaren is getting a lot of understeer, though. It's it's really not driving that well. Yo, Suman is absolutely zooming. The man is still in P1. That is crazy. Ash is holding P2. Nathan holding P3. Pav is in P4. And I'm still trying to push for P5. It's, it's struggling the McLaren though. I think I've almost got like too much downforce on this thing. It, it doesn't want to take the corners as well as I thought they would. Ash has finally overtaken Suman for P1. They flip-flop. Nathan is doing a brilliant job in P3. Ash still holding P1. Jeez, this is a crazy race. There we go. We're looking good now, McLaren. Now we're looking good. No longer focusing on the guys in front. I'm just focusing on myself. And I think I'm gaining a little bit. I think. The 4 GT has crumbled under the pressure. The McLaren moves back up to fifth place. And another guy, El Gabor, drops out of the race. That is very, very unfortunate. Yeah, look at that 4 GT. That 4 GT is mega quick. Come on, McLaren. Come on. It's Ford versus McLaren. Send it through here. However, I haven't actually been telling you the truth about this race because this isn't actually a race. I would like to divert your attention to the band car list. Take a look at those capital letters. See if you notice something sus. This isn't a normal race. This is not who's the most consistent. This is who can do a glory run around this little circuit. You might have first place, but it's all gonna depend on your lap time. There goes Ash. Ash is monstering it in his McLaren. It also looks like it's on fire, which, um, I'm not gonna lie, is one of the things of having a McLaren. And there is Suman 
Suman is in his McLaren 570S. Those guys are right on top of one another. Who can do the fastest lap? Yep, don't mind me, just a cameraman filming another ca- Nathan! Nathan, we're supposed to be taking- Okay, fine, fine, fine. Fine, I'm gonna do a proper lap. I'm gonna do a proper lap time. Let's go, McLaren. Let's see what I can do. So, when we were doing practice, the fastest lap that we were able to get was a 125. So we'll see what these guys are able to do. Nathan is absolutely flying in his Ferrari. That thing is mega, mega quick. Can my McLaren match it? Probably. It, with my upgrades though, may, maybe not so much. Let's see if I can get a 127 though. Absolutely send it. There is Urban Legend down in P7, or I guess actually he's directly in front of me. If I could overtake him, that would actually count as an overtake. I think it's totally possible to get a 123, 124, maybe a 122. I'm not sure. Let's send it. This might very well be our final lap. Come on, bud. Break there. Lift off. In again we go. Come on. Come on. Yo, there's Saturn. Saturn is also running the McLaren 570S. Yo. So apparently I chose a very, very good car today. Not the best line through there, but I kept it safe. Come on, McLaren. Come on, McLaren. Go for that fastest lap. Go for it. Send it through here. Don't have the confidence. Go. Break. Double apex again. Hammer it. Oh my God. Hammer too much. Oh my God. That's the end of the race. That's the end of the race already. No way. Suman is in P2. Nathan is in P3. I'm not even going to get to the finish line to put in this lap. No! No! This was my fat. Oh. Just to add insult to injury. Huh? Best lap time? Ash! Ash is going to take it with a 121.8. No way! I didn't even think a 121 was possible. Wow, look at the difference here. So, Suman was actually in second place, but he was nearly a second slower. Nathan, who's already super quick, did a 124.1. The McLaren who actually beat me and was running away from me at the start did a 124.6. It was, there was a little bit of back and forth though between Ash and Suman for P1, but Ash pulled it together at the end. Well played. The finale is looking so stacked. It's not even funny. Sign up for race number seven is gonna be open now. So feel free to sign up.